evening. I'm Joseph Z from Badger Chevrolet in Legendary Lake Mills. I'm here with a 2017 Chevrolet Bolt. I'm going to be doing a series of videos with a little bit of encouragement from Tony. Hopefully practice my public speaking and be informative and hopefully get some of you to come on in and say hi to us and check out the vehicles that we're displaying. There's going. This is kind of the last in the generation of the hybrids. Everything else from now on out is the Equinox Blazer and Silverado EV. All going to be 100% electric. Just some cool diesel stuff that recently came out this year. And if we're lucky, in the next couple of months, we'll get a few Corvettes in here and I can do a walk around on those for you. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. If you don't like me, comment twice. Any interaction helps. I do say um too much, but that's all good. So, as mentioned earlier, we're talking about the 2017 Chevrolet Bolt. It's uh, on sale for $20,836. Yeah, a really low mileage version. It has 40,000 uh, miles, 300 and some. Uh, it was traded in here, which is crazy low miles for a six year old car. It was traded in here, and we're going to go over some of the features on it. It is a plug in hybrid. It has about 50 miles worth of range uh, when it's fully charged with the electric portion. Of course, you don't have the range anxiety because there is a gas engine that goes along with it. Gas engine. Uh, this is the J1772 plug. In case I get that wrong, just let me know in the comments. You just plug that in at home. 110 will charge it all the way overnight. Uh, in here, we've got the infotainment system. Uh, one of the first editions of projection, which is like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Uh, you have to plug it in, which is also kind of nice because it charges your phone at the same time. Of course, with those apps, you can get it so that you can see if there is traffic slowdowns or constructions, or maybe there's somebody out there looking to write you a speeding ticket in case you do speed. You don't condone that. Uh, in the back here, we've got this big hatch. There's no trunk, so it's all one piece here. Uh, I've got lots of animals, so this is a hammock for two cats. And then, of course, underneath here, and space for two German Shepherds and some supplies or whatever else you uh, need. Of course, if you do have small humans in your household, you can flip those seats back up. Two people fit comfortably. The battery pack being in the center there makes the third middle seat really small. And of course, with the battery pack being in the center, uh, makes the center of mass really low. If you get yourself some snow tires on your EV, you can go through just about anything. It's a wonderful time in the winter. As mentioned earlier, it is not just a uh, electric vehicle. It's, of course, you can fill up with fuel. Of course, that only takes seconds. Don't worry about road trips. It does have the push button on the door, so you can access that with just the keys in your pocket. Coming all the way around. Uh, here, we're going to pop the hood. Not very exciting. It's going to be a four-cylinder engine. Weirdly, though, it has three coolants. Um, don't do that yourself. I mean, you can. I'm not going to recommend that, but just bring it to our service department at 150,000 miles and they'll take care of it for you. Uh, windshield washer fill is here. You still have to check the oil. Also, kind of cool with the uh, volts is that it'll make the engine run itself to keep help maintain and keep the oil, all the parts lubricated over time. Also, you do have to worry about your fuel going bad if all you're using the car is for commuting and you're plugging it in every night. So, maybe some fuel stabilizer because you go through such little fuel driving one. If you've got any questions, comments, again, please leave them at the bottom. I hope everyone has the best day ever. 